Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React. Today I'm going to do something that I have been thinking for a while. I'm going to explain uh, the difference between our apps uh, because uh, they are mounting up and I know that this can be really confusing if you're totally new to our things. So first of all, it all began with Sketch to React and this is Sketch to React. Uh, it's a Mac app that reads sketch files only sketch files. You build things inside of Sketch using our framework rules and it gives you these awesome things that you can export to HTML5 website project or just a React website project. You do that from here. Also vanilla React. So this is what we have been doing for most of our time during these two years, uh, it took over one year to reach actual real React export from the beginning. We just had HTML, but this is our most, I mean, it's the product that we have been working most with. And this is still, we do this as a side project. We have jobs we like. This is something we do, me and Frederick, on the side. Uh, so maybe we put eight to 10 hours a week on all of these things. It's important for you to understand this. Uh, so, anyway, this is Sketch to React and it's perfect for creating uh, websites, uh, like prototype websites. Uh, last summer we started thinking how can we make this even better. So we started working on something that now is called Stratos Components. And Stratos Components is if Sketch to React uh, exports website uh, code, like whole website projects to React, this is totally different because it uh, exports scalable styled components. So actual components that you can share and distribute. This is a much more complex app and we are not ready with it yet. Uh, it's still under, under uh, development, but this is our most ambitious uh, project to date. So all of these things that you see here are actual uh, components. Then in the middle of working with Stratos Components, that the first was called Stratos only, uh, we, uh, during a talk with uh, friends of ours, uh, we started to think about how can we implement uh, support for design, working with design tokens. So first we did that in, the, in Stratos, but then uh, it, the ways of working with design tokens versus the ways of working with building real code components inside your design application is so different. So we thought, this is so confusing, we need to separate these things. You have an app for components, and you have an app for tokens. So uh, that led to Stratos Tokens being a separate app. This app is awesome, it only deals with design tokens. And the, the best thing about this is that we also have support for Figma files, uh, Sketch files of course, and uh, Stu InVision Studio files, and we're also adding XD, Adobe XD support uh, in a while. So for example, uh, this is a design token document inside of Sketch. This one is set up for working with Style Dictionary that we have built in support for. Uh, the great thing about doing demo files for Sketch is that you can open this and import them really easy into Figma, for example. And they will work th the same way. So, okay guys, that was all for me today. I hope this uh, helps in some way. Cheers, have a great one.